edition. <laughs> show the swatches of these in a minute and then I'll show that I'll do them again in the, the daylight. We've got the um, indoor bulb at the moment which is like a pink tinged bulb and um, um, see what I mean about them being difficult to hold. See so they're so easy to drop. They're not um, they're not like the balmy lip balms that are easier to hold. That If you hold on to this little end they like to just fall out of your hand and then they fall they fall down and then um with the ex you know the balm exposed and whatever you can fall on the floor get covered in um hair, hair and germs they're not easy to keep in your hand if you hold them by this little bit on the end so i suppose you're meant to hold them there like the um eos and balmy right, i'll show you what i'm referring to so you use oh, they're um difficult to if you're going to use them trying to hold on to that tiny edge that you've got where it's thinner it's very difficult so I suppose you're meant to hold them like that and also because you use these as blush as well because they're you know they're balm and blush after you've applied well you usually put blush on top of foundation so you get the foundation that you've got already got on your face then it comes up, goes on there you can see that this has got foundation on it whereas of course these are um, easier to hold um, that would have helped if I'd taken their tops off wouldn't it, hang on see, you, using that as um, blush or, or um, on your lips especially on your lips they're even more clumsy to hold on to I suppose so you think, how are you meant to hold them? Um, oh, I can hardly even hold on to it. By so I suppose you're meant to hold them like that. Um, because with these, of course, they're much easier. There's the balmy one. You just hold it and go like, well, obviously. And then the EOS, you just hold it. And that's easy to hold on to. But these, they're just, they aren't. And of course, well, that's exposed. If you drop that, I bet loads of people have dropped theirs, and um, then they end up all mucky. But I'll do the swatches and show you what they look like. Okay, so the first one we're going to look at is Booming Ruby, and this is the one there on the end, the outermost one. Then we have Flirty Pink. There is their next, the one in the middle. You can see. Then it's um, Innocent Peach. That's that one, and then it's shimmering bronze, and that one's showing up much more in the camera than it is as I'm looking at it. But this is it in underneath. It's not a daylight bulb, so it's not totally true colour. It's a pink tinged bulb. I have shown it in one of my other videos. It's a very old light bulb. They're probably a collector's item now. Soft tones, a Philips one. Probably, well, you certainly can't buy them anymore. But um, so it might be giving a sort of slightly pinker colour so I will do the swatches again in daylight if it's not too overcast tomorrow but as it seems to rain nearly every day and even if it's not it's facing north here but anyhow we'll see what they look like when I get a chance to do them in daylight it's been taking me weeks just to put this review up for these balm and blush I just um yeah weeks and weeks I've um so I hopefully finish the video soon Right, here we are in daylight, north facing admittedly, but the sun's out, well it's not coming my way obviously because I'm north facing, but anyhow we can see, this is the, on the outside one is the Booming Ruby, the one next to it is Flirty Pink, then we have Innocent Peach, and then the Shimmering Bronze, which is the one I'm holding here. Now, the, um, um, this one... The shim uh, mm, innocent peach, I'd say, is the lightest one of the lot. Because, and, and to be honest, to get any colour on these, it's not just one swipe. I had to give quite a few um, very firm swipes to get the colour that you see. So um, they're not 
you know, that what I'm saying is if we just did one swipe, they're very, very sheer. And uh, to be honest, I think these work better as lip balms than blush. So I don't, I mean, after all, lip balm, you can always use as blush if you want to. But um, because of the shape of um, of these things and the the bigness of the product itself compared to a lip balm, it's, it is difficult to apply to your lips. Um, without, you know, without going on your face as well. <laughs> You have to like how. Well, obviously, I mean, it can be done, but um, I think they give quite a good. They give good colour, but as, like I say, especially with the innocent peach, you have to swipe over and over again and quite firm swipes, pressing down quite hard on your skin to get any colour come off. But so I hope that's been comprehensive enough to help someone who was wondering about them. Um,